Okay, so one of the first things we need to look at when assessing any person for a uh, potential risk of ACL injury or even where to uh, fit them into the ACL rehab program or even performance program is range of motion. So with Ashley, um, we're going to lay her down and we're going to take uh, either a top-down approach or a bottom-up approach. And literally, we're just going to look at every single joint, small or large. They all play a big role in affecting the, uh, the lower leg kinetic chain. So first thing we'll be looking at is big toe extension. So how much motion she gets out of the big toe, which absolutely affects everything on the way up. Then we'll be taking a look at the middle of her foot, which is a spot that people often forget about. We see how much motion she has between there. Also in standing, we can see how much strength she has or the uh, fallen arches, as people like to call them. We'll take her through ankle range of motion testing. Again, knee straight, knee bent. Just take a look at what kind of play we have there. We also like to take a look at how much the tibia actually moves. People don't think that the, the shin bone should rotate, but there's a small amount of motion there. So we'll take a look at that. Also very important, knee range of motion, fully bent, fully straightened. Does she have full extension? Does she have excess extension left to right? That's also something that's important to compare. And then we'll see, all right, go ahead, straighten your leg, bring it all the way up. How much motion is it the, the hamstrings and the hip? Checking a lot of Rotation at the hip for the thigh bone, all the way to the end range into flexion. See if she has any pinching or any kind of symptoms, um, you know, throughout the range of motion. So there's a few other things that we could do. We would obviously test left to right and compare. That's really, really important. But then also ask her how she feels during each of those assessments. When we take a joint to the very end of its mobility, it's really important to know how it feels. So a full basic range of motion assessment is the first thing that we would do before moving on.